March Madness 2015, and out of the South region, we had the number 12 seeded Stephen F. Austin Lumberjacks versus the number 5 seeded Utah Utes. And this game was closer than the score indicated. Utah was up by 7 at halftime. But in the second half, Stephen F. Austin battled back. And with a minute 30 left on the clock in regulation, Ty Charles hit a three-pointer. And that made a three-point game as it was 52-49. to And then with 42 seconds left, Trey Pinckney went to the free throw line. And he had a chance to make it a one-point game, but he missed the first free throw. He made the second, and that made it a two-point game at 52-50. to But then... The Utes took over, and they closed out with clutch free throw shooting as DeLon Wright went two for two from the line. And then Stephen F. Austin missed a three-pointer. Isaiah Wright then went to the line for the Utes. He went one for two. And then Stephen F. Austin missed another three-pointer. And then Jacob Plody got a block, but then another missed three-pointer by the Lumberjacks. And then they fouled Isaiah Wright. He went to the free-throw line, and it, he ended up going two for two this time. And that closed it out as Utah ends up winning by seven points with a final score. Utah 57, Stephen F. Austin 50. So clutch free-throw shooting by Utah at the end of the game closes this one out. As they end up beating the Lumberjacks to advance in the South, where they will be facing the winner of Georgetown in East Washington. As that's going to be coming up later on tonight, as that is the final game of day one. But in this game for Utah, they had three starters with double digits. Their leading scorer was Jacob Pulte. And he had 18 points and 8 boards, just 2 boards shy of the double-double. Jordan Loveridge had 12 points and 5 boards. And DeLon Wright had 11 points and 6 boards and 3 steals. And coming off the bench for the Utes was Dakari Tucker. He had 9 points off the bench for the Utes. And so Utah advances to the round of 32. And they'll be playing that game on Saturday, March 21st, depending on who ends up winning. So keep an eye on that, and we'll update you on that. But as for this game, the final score, Utah 57, Stephen F. Austin 50.